There's more to the Sydney Tower, the highest building in Sydney, than just sightseeing. Come with me and we'll go on a little walk. Alright, let's go. So we're currently facing the east, so yeah. looking down towards Bondi Junction, Pacific Ocean as well. Fantastic. Once we get up the stairs, uh, we're 268 metres high. Okay. And it's the highest lookout in Sydney. So wow. the only point someone is taller than us right now in Sydney is if they're on an airplane. So this All is birds. it. Pretty cool. <laughs> So what we'll do first is we'll head straight to the north, uh, right. to the first class platform. And uh, this platform's quite flexible as well. So, so I can we'll see everything below me. Oh my straight God. below you. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. So come around just to the north. The biggest oh. loser can do it. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, too. Oh my God. So feel free to come out as far as you can. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you can see the workmen below you as well. They're little Oh, that looks here. so small. <laughs> Sick of this job? No, it's hard to uh, with bet. things like this, especially on a day like today. And uh, some guides prefer it at day. Personally, I like um, the way city looks at night time uh, more than that. We do walks, uh, daytime walks, sunset and evening walks as well. Uh, the sunset's amazing. Uh, this time of the year, it's about five o'clock. Oh, incredible. And, yeah, it is fantastic. We do walks every hour uh, from 10 in the morning till about 8 p.m. at night, um, if demanded as well. We sometimes do walks on the half hour too. So. And do you do it every day of the week? Every day of the week, yeah. 365 days a year? Yeah, except one. <laughs> Christmas Day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Western areas over here, uh, over one third of Sydney's population live in this direction. Oh, okay. You can see the urban sprawl, it's quite rapid down there. And you can see the upper blue mountains in the distance, which means the visibility is at a maximum. Um, wow. So you picked, as mentioned, perfect day. Definitely to come have. Up here. Uh, this is the southern glass platform below us here. You might notice it's a lot thinner than uh, the platform in the north. There is a reason for that though. Want to find out? Yeah, I do. Okay. I love that. Oh, we're going to literally try it out. Okay. Get both of your hands, put them behind your back. Oh, what are you behind doing your, to me? Behind your back. Okay. Stand up on your tippy toes. Oh my god, this you is. Do it. The platform will come out. Oh, you are it's awful. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> and uh, we're looking down towards Market Street. Give oh a shake. Oh my god. Worry. Flexible. <laughs> ah. <Coming> out there. <laughs> and, uh, that is a pretty amazing view though, I have to say. It is great. And what's the age group that you bring up here? Uh, the minimum age is 10 years old uh, okay. to come up on the walk. And uh, the main reason is for the harnessing and the sizing as well. Um, some of them have a very small frame, so we've got to make sure they're up here safe and secure. Definitely. Before anything else. And is this something that, that lots of families do, a good day out for the family? Yeah, especially on uh, the school holidays, then uh, lots of families do come up. And if their kids are 10 years of age, the kids are usually more the influence than anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also got disability access, is that right? We do. Uh, we do take wheelchairs up here as well. There's a garavanta that sends people up here. That's and great. We put them on the southern glass platform and it's fantastic it's a great facility um, to take them up here as well certainly I should be very proud of that yeah yeah it's great Now the fun doesn't have to stop at school.
Skywalk, you can venture downstairs to Oztrek and enjoy a two-part adventure ride exploring Australia.